Hi everyone, that's Dorota Paliska, international nail artist and educator here. And today I have prepared another easy and quick nail art using a blooming gel because it was requested quite a lot. You can have a little preview of it in here. Yeah, nice and very easy to do flowers. And I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much guys for all the support, likes, comments and shares which you are doing for this channel. Thank you so much. Let's start. <laughs> You guys requested uh, some easy designs with the blooming gel and I will show you how to achieve this look. I think it's pretty nice and you could use it on top of any color base and you could also um, do it at, like on a full set of the needles and I will show you on a full set of the needle. So we are going to use 173 which is Tic Tac White. Actually I've got Dilemma, maybe we shouldn't. Ah. No, we wouldn't. So I will use a color 200 on some fingers. Yeah, we will make it a nice and pretty set with some different, different types of designs. And then cook it. Same on the pinky. This is a thing, like one thing comes to my head and then I change my mind. But I think that will be pretty nice too. Cook it and then the design is going to go on those two nails. So I'm using the white. Got some dust in there. There we are. Cook them. Then the second layer of the pink. It's actually a really nice shade. Yeah, I think it will be nice if we just do it the uh, design on the part of the needles on those ones. Okay, on the white needles we are ready for those blooming gel. So I'm just going to apply the blooming gel. Nice and thin layer. And then using the thicker Neil Perfect brush, so that's the got too many of them now. So watercolor uh, brush is slightly thicker and we are going to uh, paint this design. So I'm going to pick up a drop of those pink. That's a color 200 and 201 blueberry. I think they look really nice together. And then picking up with the brush we are going to do the design. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting like a um, almost C letters on the one side of the tip. And then on the other side. And 
and the blooming gel is going to do all the job for us and then swap the color and now we are going to use the blue so in between of that we are going to put some blue And now I'm going to drag it hit to change the shape. Just so it has a wee point in there. And leave it for the blooming gel to spread it all. Okay, and then this one I'm going just to put it on the side so the gel spreads nice. And we are going to paint a similar one, just on different sides. So picking up the blooming gel a nice amount of it and now we are going to work the other side so one two three it's awesome because uh, you can work with any kind of color you want and it's so quick like okay so this one you can see it how nicely it did smudged already Let's start looking beautiful and I'm happy with this smudge so I'm going to cook it. And then this one we are going to put some blue. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing harder and then lighter uh, to achieve this look. Uh, so it will look like almost like a kind of exotic flower. Okay, and then leave it this one so it smudge nicely. And there is also a tutorial of those news as well on the channel. You have to watch it, guys. Uh, it's the first time from ages when I have managed to have both uh, hands uh, same way. Now on this one, we are going to swap the color. So I will use some white and a blue. I'm just putting a drop of white in there. And we will do the design more on the top part of the tip. So I'm just painting top part of the tip. And then picking up the blue. Okay, once I have done the blue, I'm going to use the white. and then leave it on the side so it spreads nice. Again, I'm happy with this one now, so I can cook it. And then the design on this one is going to go on the other side. It's actually fun creating those type of designs. So they actually come up each time slightly different uh, and it's really awesome. So clean my brush and then pick up white. And then on the other side, leave it so it spreads nice. I can cook this one. So it looks nice even on its own, even if we don't uh, do anything uh, with it. But of course, I will just uh, add some more detail in there. So my next step is to apply the top coat. Because we want those kind of 3D look to it as well. So I'm just applying the top coat.
and then cook it. Same on this one, top coat. We've got an absolutely amazing and beautiful day today in Fort William and I'm actually feeling it on my products because um, we are just sitting next to the window and I can see it how it's kind of catching the products as well. But uh, this way the cameraman is very happy with the light. <laughs> now this one is ready to cook. Actually the light was better from when we started than now. Uh, because we put some uh, sun moves, but uh, we put some um, diffuser diffusion on the window as well uh, to protect it from the direct sunlight. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do anything. But anyway, let's apply the top coat on the next ones. Honestly, it's a fun to do those type of designs. So top coat. And then top coat on this one. So you can see guys what is happening with my top coat. It's already curing, unbelievable. And it's definitely a direct sunlight, it's not a lamp like, because uh, you, some of you ask me like if I'm working too close with the lamp, is that going to affect my products? Uh, so. It's depending how the lamp is set. So when my lamp is on the side and here, come now, I may actually show it. I've got, if it was sitting like this, yes, it would affect me working, but because it sits more this way, the light kind of comes out uh, through this point. So it doesn't affect me working normally with the products, but then just on front of us, we've got a window um, and that's, uh, uh, that's uh, where the sunlight is coming through. But okay, the first one is ready, so I'm going to put a drop of the paint on French gel. So a drop of the paint on French, that's actually a brand new one. Um, and it has a new coverage with the wee um, uh, towel, Eiffel towel um, with a French, French twist to it. I quite like it. So I'm just picking up a small scoop of it on my mixing palette. And now we are going to do those 3D parts of this design. Okay, so I'm using the D-liner brush. I don't want to top coat it this part. So the paint on French gel, you don't have to top coat it necessary. Uh, it will last even without of top coat. And that's what is awesome about it. So what I'm doing is I'm painting kind of like a leaf swirls design uh, just to give it nicer look to the flowery background which we have created. Ideally you don't want to cover all the parts with the blooming gel, just some of it like you want to keep it uh, some of it otherwise it wouldn't have a sense applying those uh, blooming gel and I feel like it gives a really beautiful background for this design. So just on some parts. was one side, other side. It's a very simple way of doing the swirl. So I've got a blob of the product at the brush, because usually when we pick up the product, we've got like a wee blob in there. So you can see it, wee blob, touch it, and then we've got less product. Touch it, prolong it, and it almost looks like a wee leaf, wee butterfly wing, like depending how you look at it. I think it's a pretty interesting design.
and it looks much more complicated. So that's the finished look. It looks much more complicated uh, if we don't break the steps, how it was achieved. But once you know how to do it, it looks nice and pretty. Now I'm going to cook it in now. And what I love about it, that we can use the paint on French gel um, on top of the top coat and it's going to stay on with no problems at all. Okay, so now the same in here. And it has those kind of 3D, 3D feel to it. And then prolong it. Okay, so we have created a tiny design on the side. Same on this one, just the other side. So I'm just cleaning my brush. I don't want to have the brush load with the product too strongly. And I'm trying to follow the design which we already got created with the blooming gel. At the same time, do not cover it completely. Okay, then. So I'm really doing the same movements all the time, like almost a C letter, so C letter, another one in there, and then we wave. And the last one, so this way we have, oh, actually, could do with the small one in there. And that's a pretty one as well. Well, I actually love this one, it looks so elegant. And then on the last one, I feel on its own, it, it doesn't look bad, um, but I prefer it definitely with those uh, wee swirly bits over it like much nicer. So here I have done three of them. And then one C, other C, and we've got like a wee, almost butterfly wing. Then another one. Of course, when I'm painting on the client, I will twist my hand more uh, rather than the tip. Um, and I have been doing this design, like the similar kind of swirly work on my clients really often. The ones which want a baby boomer and then they don't want uh, like over the top design. So like those couple white swirls, even like this looks amazing with the baby boomer, amazing with the French as well. Um, and I do really recommend it guys, you do learn some easy movement like, and this one is so easy. Um, and it looks always very effective because you just twist it a little bit and change it a little bit um, to create an really different designs each time when you're painting. And then another one just on the bottom there. And that's our design finish on this tip. So I show you the first one. So the first one is this one. I'm going to use the UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. Okay, and the paint on French gel is absolutely safe uh, to be used like this. You can see it, it has those raised uh, look uh, to it and kind of like a 3D feel to it as well. So this tip goes in there, that's a middle one. Really beautiful design. Um, and especially now, like those kind of 80s are really in fashion, where there is lots of stuff going on, line work and everything. And I think that will still go with the theme as well. Um, like the more on the news, the better. Uh, so another one is going to be here. Let me just put them into the right direction. So I'm using a tiny bit of the blue tuck in there. 
this one there. This one, let's move it so I can show you how the fuel set will look together. This one is ready as well. And just remove it. And that's quite nice and pretty too. It could be done with different colors as well. And I'm glad I changed it. I didn't do them all the same. I am really glad because uh, this way you've got another idea because uh, you could do just all set purple, like pinkish, and then this design in there. And the last one here. Yeah, that looks nice and pretty together. Just stick it in. Oh, I've got two little blue tuck in there. Let's move it. There we are. Okay, so that's the set which we have created today. And it looks so pretty. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. I love it, actually. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. I, I, I really like the purple one with just a tiny wee purple pink. That's hard to do. Fuchsia kind of color. Um, just with those little accent uh, on the new as well. We could also paint it one like on this side as well. That's uh, another idea for you guys. But yeah, I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.